So after Scott has replaced everything in Etsy, hold on, let me switch us over to my next example here. All right, so we talked about Perl. We'd be remiss if we didn't also talk about Python. Python doesn't make it as easy to do stuff inline. Like you can, but it gets ugly quick. And I thought it'd be a better way to touch, to, to use Python to make us make ourselves a little bit of a utility, right? What I made is a Python script called Replacer. And what Replacer does is obviously it brings in some libraries that it needs in order to do the stuff that it's doing. I actually added some error checking into it that says if you run thing without the right number of arguments, it gives you an output that says, hey, you did it wrong. Super, super cool right there. Then it'll take three arguments. One is the file you want to make replacements in, the thing you want to replace, and the thing you want to replace it with. And then it just opens up the file and does the replacement, right? So let me show you how it works. So there we go. We run replacer and it tell, it gives me the output. It says what I have to put in there. If I did like replacer, oh, I have to do dot slash on what was it? File three. I think I was going to use for this one. Nope, not two, three. Again, it'll say the same thing because I didn't give it what to replace with. Let me show you what this file is first. And fair warning, I've been watching a show on Amazon all about Lord of the Rings. So <laughs> it inspired this file. <laughs> so we've got a bunch of names of wizards and uh, hobbits and elves from the uh, Lord of the Rings series. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use replacer. I'm going to use file three and we're going to replace Elrond with the word elf. And then if we look at file three, There we go. Elrond is now just an elf. So that's uh, actually a pretty simple example. It took probably took me longer to write that script than it did to show it to you guys. If you want to uh, use Python to do this stuff, again, be able to do this in line. The problem is Python is so strict about its indentation and whatnot. I wasn't sure how to how I would pipe through Python and get all the syntax right. With Perl, it's easy. You just put semicolons to, to go to the next line. And I don't know how you do that with Python. I guess I'm just not a good Python developer. <laughs> There's still time, Nate. There's still time. There's still time to be a good Python developer. No, everyone's moved on to something else now. I, I don't know how developers keep up with this stuff. We're, we're writing everything Rust. Go. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm still like, they insisted I had to learn Ruby at one point and that, oh, where'd that go? <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I never learned Ruby, by the way. It's like people write in Java. I know. 